Hi, my name is Kenny Rains, and this is Rainmaker 3D. So I wanted to make a video on how to download Pronterface and hook up your 3D printer to it, specifically, in my case, an Ender 3 V2. And so this video is going to be how to download Pronterface. So we're at Pronterface.com, and on the very top here, you go to Print Run, get it, come down here to Latest Release. There's a link for this in the video. And we're going to scroll down. I have Windows, so we're going to click the Windows Zip. Click that. It'll start to download. And then once you have that link downloaded, go ahead and extract it. And right here, I've got it extracted. I'm going to open up this file. And we go down here to the Pronter Face application. And that's it. So now we have Pronter Face on our computer. And so the next step is going to be how do we hook Pronterface up to our 3D printer. So for this next part, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a micro USB, your computer, and your 3D printer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my micro USB, I'm going to plug it into my Ender 3 motherboard, and now we go back to the computer and we go back to Pronterface. Okay, so now that you have Pronter Face open and your 3D printer is connected to your computer, we're going to have to find out what communication port that the 3D printer is on. So I'm going to go to Device Manager, under Control Panel, open it up, and come down here to Ports. Now under Ports, my 3D printer is this USB serial CH340 COM9. And one way to figure out for sure if it is or isn't this port is go ahead and unplug your 3D printer, see what ports are available, and then re-plug it in and see which one pops up. One other thing that you should do is go ahead and double click that port and change your bits per second rate, baud rate, to 115,200. I've had the most success at this rate. As long as they match, it should work. So then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my communication rate is the same in Pronter Face. I'm going to click connect and it says that my printer is now online. So if I click over to the right 10 millimeters my 3D printer has just moved. And so you can also go ahead and home your axes. There's all sorts of different things you can do from Pronter Face. You can use GCO command directly down here which is what you would do if you're going to calibrate your 3D printer uh, in, in future videos, we will do plenty of that in order to calibrate your E-steps, your uh, K-value, all sorts of acceleration values, everything that you need to calibrate your 3D printer or printer face or some form of G-code communication directly to your 3D printer is going to be critical. So that's how you install printer face and connect it to your 3D printer. Thanks.